Israel against Romania. I'm John Champion and analysing this game for us is Jim Beckley. Well, thanks John, hello everyone. Well I hope you're looking forward to it as much as I am, this could be a real cracker. So, away we go. Here's Marika. Rat. Torja. He goes alone. Now seeking to get that ball in. Takes a shot. Strikes it. That's going to go a long way. Romania with a big chance and a big miss. That one has just about been dealt with. Well, oh, that's a neat escape. Wax it. Ben Hayi gets it clear. And it's going to be a corner, I think. No, in fact, a goal kick is given. Well, we were unlikely to see a goal then because there were so many players crowding out that danger area. I think something very special was going to be needed. Israel still to register a shot on target. Ben Hay with a sliding tackle. Torja. Trouble looming, but he's able to cut it out. It away. And that's a foul. That was always likely to be the outcome. Yellow card. Foul, a fairly easy decision for the referee. the distance he's had a go that is way off well that's understandable because they haven't found it easy against this defense the shooting from that sort of range it's not the answer right Torja. this goes for a throw-in Unlucky not to score there. Well, if he hopes to do better than that, he's got to work on his technique and his timing. The contact wasn't right there, so 
there wasn't much chance of success. You'd really expect a player of his quality to score there. I think what we're looking at here is just a very special talent. Someone who can decide the outcome of a match on his own. No goals from either team as yet. Marika. He's going on. Goal, Romania. He'd love to play against defenders as charitable as that every week. Well, poor defending or not, that was a clinical finish. Both the movement and the execution were top draw. So we start again at 1-0. Yeah, they may have got the lead, but that next goal now is absolutely crucial to the complexion of this one. Both sides fiercely contesting the ball. An important interception, things were starting to look dangerous. Not getting through. Looking to receive the ball. Break could be on. Break is on. Causa. Here's Marika. Well, he was given the time and room initially to hold on to the ball, but eventually he was squeezed that bit harder and the task became too much. I think he's got to be a little quicker in his distribution then and, and get others into the match. blows his whistle to signal half-time. Well, they definitely won't be happy with that half. They seem to lack a bit of desire, especially going forward. It wouldn't surprise me to see a change or two. Romania get the second half going. And the defence does its job, they get it away. Real pressure from the opposition there. He's onside. Opportunity for a goal. Ben Ayun. Played in accurately. Here's Marika. Torja. Intercepts the pass. They 
got it away. Romania have a free kick for that. No surprise, it's a yellow card. Oh, that really is a case of, of taking one for the team. They were exposed and vulnerable and, and it needed a challenge to stop them there. One of those situations that just had to happen. And he's taken it on. To be fair, that was tough for the keeper to handle. Ben Ayoun. And a strike from distance. It had the range, but not the accuracy. Look, they haven't had that many shooting opportunities against this defence, but along with some patience now, they need to find a bit more invention and craft. Look, should they not get back into this game, the possession stats will hold the reason why. Everything is a bit rushed and frantic. They need someone to impose a more composed approach and just settle it down. Israel yet to make a substitution here. Looking to play on the break. Rat. He's playing it through. Ben Hai clears it this time. There's plenty of activity down by the touchline. Looks like we're going to get a substitution. Driven in, and he makes absolutely no mistake. It's a two-goal lead now. Look, there just wasn't much of a gap to begin with, and to find it, I think it was a fine drive, and I don't think the keeper could have really planned for that. I think he's a bit unlucky in that instance. It's 2-0. Yeah, we've seen it before that 1-0 can be a fragile scoreline, but now that they have that extra cushion, two should be enough. Looking to receive the ball, break could be on. Seventy-five minutes on the clock now. Fine through ball down the middle. They really should have made it 3-0 there. And if they don't get the job done from here, you look back on that moment and know he should have made it a three-goal cushion. Should have finished things off. He was close to adding to his tally there. Yeah, he's definitely a player who looks like he could make something happen every time he's on the ball. He's just full of belief and energy. Ben Hai. Get it away. Rat knocks it forward, looking to play on the break. Torja. He's onside here. Chance again! Well, that was a really awkward one for the goalkeeper to deal with. Ben Ayoun. Tries it from long range. From distance, it lacked accuracy. There's certainly no harm in trying from that distance. He's cocky enough to have a go, but 
You have to be so accurate from there. He's won that physical contest and with it the ball. Whistle goes. Referee just gives the throw. Looking to receive the ball. Break could be on. Through the middle it goes. He's not taking any risks there. Tumps it upfield. The keeper's got it. Time whistle within sight. Shoots. There's the whistle. The game's finished. Despite their courageous efforts, they have come away with a defeat here. The players disappointed, they performed well, but they've lacked a little bit in terms of luck, I think, today. You know, it's a privilege to be part of a